गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ थ्री चैप्टर भी थ्री टू फोर फोर चैप्टर भी कंप्लीटेड इन जोग्राफी पोर्शन नाउ कम टू द हिस्ट्री इन हिस्ट्री वी स्टडी अबाउट द इवेंट्स इट मीन्स द इवेंट्स वैन इट्स हैपन where and how okay suppose the battle of uh, plassey when it happened battle of plassey happened uh, it's uh, uh, happened in 18, uh, 1757 where in bengal so and how such type of questions related to these events we will study in this next Okay, now Indian history can be divided into three periods. In how many periods? Three periods. Indian history can be divided into three period. First, ancient period, medieval, and modern period. Our focus is on medieval period. In this topic, we study especially on the medieval period. Each period is characterized by numerous changes and developments. Each and every period, there are so many changes. and developments happens first in class previous class as x you study about the ancient period now in seventh you will be study about the modern medieval history and in eighth you will be study about modern history now come to the points the medieval period of indian history stretches from 8 to 18th century okay medieval period stretches from 8 to 18th century okay 8 to 18th century then once again this medieval period divided into two category first 8 to 13 pre medieval and 30 to 18 later medieval period okay okay once again this divided into 8 to 13 pre medieval or 30 to 18 later medieval period now to be the later medieval period which saw the great delhi sultanate and mughal sultanate okay before 13th century in india there was a hindu monarch ruled over india or the kingdoms but in second later medieval period most of the place filled with the delhi sultanate either mughal empire ruled by mughal uh, empire either delhi sultanate now James Mill, okay. James Mill, a British historian. He was a British historian. He came to Britain. Has divided Indian history into three period. First Hindu period because of Hindu rule in this ancient period. Second Muslim because of Muslim rule over India. And third Christian period because of foreign uh, European people came to India and rule over India. so according to james well indian history can be divided okay in a three period first hindu muslim and christian period now however a period of history cannot be characterized by the re- religion of the ruler lies belief and practice of the common have to be considered when the history is recorded also ruler did not share the same religions now many changes took place in this thousand of year of medieval period the indian subcontinent reached a high level of prosperity which led to major developments okay, there are so many major development occurred in this period now first major development what type of major development happens in this one okay first point you have to study now medieval period was a period of change in every sphere okay in this every sphere first political social cultural as well as religion and economic okay each and every sphere of the life there are so many challenges uh, changes happens in the medieval period now first 
Many Rajput kingdoms come up. They were warriors and fought to increase their empires. Okay, there were so many Rajput warriors kingdoms come, came, and they fought for them. They were warriors, no doubt. They were warriors and fought for so many battles to increase their empire. The second point. In India, so many inventions during the period. Muhammad Gauri, Muhammad Ghaznavi, plunder in India, and this marked the advent of Islam in India. Means advent means start of Muslim period in India. Okay. Now third, the Muslim Empire in India was established by Muhammad Gauri. Okay, Muslim Empire was. Uh, Muslim ruler, Muslim empire was established by Muhammad Gaur. Later, the Delhi Sultanate and Mughal Empire were established by different rulers. Now, the inventor brought in new idea, new religion, and new ways of thinking in India. So, when inventor came to India, means those who uh, was coming from the other uh, countries. So, they when they come to India, they bring their idea, their thinking. as well as new way new religions with them and they implement in india now the economy of india flourish under the mughal and they look after the welfare of the people okay now many technologies new technologies were introduced like a persian wheel farming and spinning wheel in weaving of textile now many forests were cleared for agriculture in india okay cut down of trees to cultivate the bhakti sufi movement spread in india they preach love and devotion to the god the european came to trade they gradually establish a strong foot hold in india such type of changes occurred in medieval period now in the field of religions second period first we studied about development in different fields especially uh, related uh, who Uh, who, which ruler come to India and how they establish their empire in India? What changes was uh, introduced? New technology uh, set up in India. So, this type of major development we study in the this point. Now, development in religion. Development in religions. Religions means dharm. There are four religions: major religions, Hindu, Muslim, Christian, and Sikh. so major development took place in the field of religion new religion islam made an advent in india before the advent of uh, islam there was only one religion in india hindu but islam muslim ruler had different belief belief and uh, rules according to their islamic law hindu ruler, ruler rules according their hindu law so they even force hindu to convert to islam even they were forced to hindu convert in a muslim religions and muslim who were further divided to shia and sunni and muslim also divided into two categories shia and sunni and based on their different beliefs hinduism also underwent numerous change in hinduism there were so many changes occurred new deities were worshiped also the hindu king consider at their religion duty to construct temple and construct many temples and the caste system continued okay caste system still continue so there is a big obstacle in development of india indian economy still it is a exist caste system now it was during this period the bhakti and sufi movement began which stays on love and devotion to the god they teach universal brotherhood and equality now third how geography affect history okay how geography geography affect history third point now the geography has a perf- profound effect on the history people and their action cannot be understood without taking into consideration and land where they live okay it's very greatly affect of the people that thinking their ideology the physical structure the geographic condition influence the economy and social and develop condition uh, development of the people okay how the indian subcontinent has been clearly segregated by nature okay in a 
Indian subcontinent is a clearly segregated by the nature. It is a peninsular and bounded by the ocean on three sides. It is a shape in a peninsular shape and it is surrounded by three sides by water. In this north are the great mountain system which separate fourth rest of the Asia and the high mountain passes allow to the Aryan center in India. Passes with the help of passes uh, Aryans came to India to enter India and the Arab trader with the India since 1712 but in the 1001 see the Arab armies came to invent Indian territory okay with the help of passes they came to India without passes they cannot be entered in India but some Aryans as well as some Muslim people come to India and invent in India and Indian territory through the Khyber passes later the Huns, Turk, Mughal invade India. Okay, there are some other passes, uh, Khyber passes, Hun, Turk, and Mughals also invade in India and they establish their empire in India. So they came to mountain side and from the passes. They coming from pass, uh, enter into the with the help of passes they coming from the other islamic country each invention brought in foreigner who brought with them their custom and culture each invention each and every attack of india brought the foreigner into india and when they came to india they brought their custom culture and traditions on india and it was had a great impact on the indian culture also this passes allow link with the china and Tibet and Buddhism spread to these two countries. Now, India has a great river system. Indus and Ganga Ganges have also played a uh, role in the shaping of the history. The Harpa civilization come up the near the river Indus and the navigability of this river help trade and commerce. The Himalaya have helped the northern plains to become more fertile by bringing enough rainfall the city came up where they were geographically advantaged. And the great city like Priyag and Karnoj came up in the northern plains. Many wars were fought between kings to acquire the fertile land and even riverways. Okay? Now, toward the south of the northern plains, the Vindhya mountain and the prevented invaders from getting access to be their completely. Okay, with the this prevented Vindhyachal mountain prevented inventor to enter into the completely, which lies toward the south of this mountains. So, the Deccan Plateau has non peninsular river in the uh, northern plain has a peninsular river, means the rivers which flow throughout the year, peninsular river. And in Deccan Plateau, there is a non perennial river, okay, perennial, so take a perennial river system. Scarcity of water lead to the development of the irrigation system. Okay, scarcity of water lead to development of irrigation system. The long coastline lead to the rise of numerous ports which facilitate commerce. And the, in the uh, southern part, there is a, a long coastline had a India has a India, so it provide port facility to foreign trades. Help to foreign trades. Okay. Next topic we will continue new ideology and terminology in next topic. Thank you.